Hey guys, this is Comic You Know and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a topic video on shared universes. And the person who recommended this was Short Fuse Media, my publishing agents, uh, my publishing um, company that is doing Like Father, Like Daughter. So if you haven't checked out Like Father, Like Daughter, description below, there's uh, the comic, um, or at least the website for the comic, and the Kickstarter is. Uh, is launching next Monday, so be sure to get excited for that. But yeah, check out Short Fuse Media, awesome. But uh, let's talk about this topic, which is shared universes. And also, if you guys ha have any recommendations for future topic videos, please tell me in the comments below. If I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks, it'll either be on Comic Uno or Comic Frontline, because I double dose my topic videos. Usually for Comic Frontline, I have them every Sunday. And for Comic Uno, I have them every Friday with my comic book reviews. But let's talk about this topic, shared universes. Now, what do I mean about shared universes? kind of broad topic. Um, I want to talk about the shared universes of DC and Marvel. So Marvel having, of course, the shared universe of television and their movies. Is that a good idea? It, is that a good idea? And DC not having that. Um, even They don't have shared universes of their television shows either. They only have uh, Flash and Arrow that has a shared universe. Everything else is separate. And they do not connect with the movies. So how do I feel about that? Honestly, I think DC is going the better route. I don't think there should be shared universes. I think it gets a little bit too confusing. Of course, as comic book fans, we always have those shared universes. We understand what it means that, you know, Spider-Man's doing something in one title and the other title, Thor's doing something in there. It's pretty much all the same time period. And, you know, Original Sin, you know, Last Event could tie into Spider-Man and also tie into Thor, and it makes sense. So as comic book fans, we kind of just get used to the idea of shared universes. TV fans, not so much. There's not many TV shows that have um, are in the same universe, unless they're spin-offs. Uh, and you don't get many spin-offs. Uh, recently, we've had, you know, the originals, and of course, one of the most famous spin-offs, Angel um, and Buffy, at least in the genre TV shows. So yeah, we have spin-offs, but they're not that um, frequent. Another spin-off that's uh, going to be this year. Arrow and Flash. They're the only shared universe for the DC Universe. And I think that's a really smart idea because I think it gets too confusing with different networks of, you know, Supergirl being on one network and then Arrow being in another and Arrow is very grounded but Supergirl isn't. It's better that they're different universes. It makes more sense for television. Now let's get into the story of movies and shared universes. I think the movie shared universe holds a TV show back and proof of that is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A lot of people dropped that show because it was so boring at a point. They had to wait for Guardians of the, um, not Guardians of the Galaxy. They had to wait for Captain America Winter Soldier to come out until they could do something. And that's the downfall of a shared universe. I mean, of course, there's a lot of Marvel movies that come out during the year, but they usually come out during the summer, November. What do you do in, in between? I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has... Um, found that medium with their own characters, which is great to see, but they struggled a lot season one because they had that shared universe. Now, I think it's smart that they have Agent Carter with a shared universe. That makes sense. It's on the same network. It's a spinoff. Same thing for Our Own Flash. But if they have another... You know, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, that's also a shared universe. And all these TV shows they're going to have, it will get confusing, just like in comics where it gets a little confusing. Like, what happened when? Where did it happen? It gets confusing. So for a mainstream audience, can they watch everything? And, or do they have to feel like to watch everything? And that gets a little stressful as a TV viewer. So in my opinion, I think sometimes it works. If it's a spin-off, it works. Go for it. But don't make everything a shared universe. And honestly, I think Marvel's doing a good thing with their shared universe. They're working it well, but it could fall apart too. So I think DC kind of is doing it the right way, at least with television. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tell me your opinions on shared universes for both DC and Marvel. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the right situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Life Father, Life Daughter. And don't forget to like the face, uh, Facebook page of Life Father, Life Daughter. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.